안녕하세요, 에리스 키친 친구분들. Today we are going to turn this into these egg dumplings called 달걀 만두 in Korean. This can be a simple and delicious way to use up ingredients in your refrigerator. First, we need these dried cellophane noodles called 당면 in Korean. In a boiling water, cook the noodles for about 8 minutes on high. Meanwhile, let's prepare the rest of the ingredients. So, finely chop all the vegetable ingredients such as onion, yangpa, the green onion, pa, carrot, tangan, and red hot pepper, hongochu. Other veggies work well too, such as zucchini, potato, mushroom, garlic chives, perilla leaves, and so on. But onion and green onions are very important for good flavor. Break the eggs, 달걀, and whisk them gently. Add the chopped veggies into the egg mixture along with the salt, 소금. Mix it all together. If you're not going to eat this with any dipping sauce, you can add some more salt instead. When the noodles are soft and done cooking, take them out. Chop the noodles a few times with the scissors. Kawi. Season the cooked noodles with the soy sauce, ganjang, sesame oil, chamgirim, and the black pepper, huchu, when the noodles are still hot. Mix it well. Put the seasoned noodles into the egg mixture, then mix it up one more time. By the way, this is my new cast iron griddle, and I absolutely love it. It works as great as a nonstick pan and actually it is even better for cooking. So I recommend you to try this. Anyway, let's get back to cooking now. So in a heated pan, add the cooking oil. 식용유 Put a big spoonful of the batter in the pan and spread it out into a circle like this or over for a prettier shape. Fry them for a minute on medium-high and then fold them in half. Reduce the temperature to medium. After folding it, you will have some more space in your pan. So make some more like this. Then you will get about 10 pieces from this recipe. Fry both sides until they become golden brown for about 4 to 5 minutes. You can make a soy dipping sauce by simply mixing a few ingredients. I will add the recipe for it in the description box below this video. Please try this delicious talgar mandu someday and if you do, take some pictures and share them with me on Instagram or Facebook because I love to see all the pictures. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye.